my name is Kendra and I'm a groomer at Noble Dog Shop and Spa in Howell and this is my dog Gwendolyn who is going to be our little tutorial model today and we are going to cover line brushing and line combing along with how to shave the sanitary area on your dog so that you can maintain them during the shelter in place. Okay so I'm going to start out with doing the line brushing and I always start by wetting the dog down. I use this detangling shine spray. It's called Bio Silk for Dogs. And I really love it. It doesn't leave a buildup on her coat. And it helps prevent coat damage. And it actually prevents future, de tang future tangling. So I'm going to go through here. And I'm going to just spray this side of her coat. Because this is where I'm going to work. You may want to zoom in here a little bit because I'm going to show you how to get right to the skin. Hi, sweetheart. You're going to hold the hair and you're going to brush down to the skin. You've got to be gentle. You brush down to the skin. And see how I'm just taking a little bit of hair at a time? Miss Gwendolyn, you gotta stand up, honey. Good girl. Just have to make sure you're getting all the way down to the skin. You can really tell if you feel in their coat, you're gonna feel that it's kind of soft on the outside if you didn't get to the skin and the tight curls are down to the skin. So when you brush, you wanna get right down there. And the same thing with the legs. I'll start at the top of the leg. Try not to get my head in the way. This is the first time I've ever done a video like this. And Gwendolyn's like, I'd rather be playing than getting brushed today. She had a few burrs in her hair. Now I'm going to show you a real quick little bit about line combing. It's basically the same concept as using the slicker, but now you're going back through the hair that you already brushed with a comb to make sure you didn't miss any snarls. Since she's sitting down, I'm going to try to get a view, but usually I work from the tail up. But basically you're just going to get down to the skin. She's, not, she's trying to get herself comfortable. And you're just going to do the same thing. You're going to brush. It's so hard to get an angle that I'm not black home. All the way down to the skin. Now we've all been talking on the one of the poodle pages about ticks this year. And I found three on Gwendolyn already this season. And combing down to the skin is an essential way to be able to see their skin on a regular basis so that you can catch ticks before they've been there for any length of time. Now right now I'm using the wide portion of my comb. It goes from wide to thinner. And then I may decide to go back through if I think there's a snarly area and go through. Now I know some of you may have poodles that are matted and here is one matting tool that I have in my thing here. And this is based. Hold on a second. Hi guys. Now I want to show you um, how to properly use a mat splitter. There's a few different kinds. This is the only one I had handy. She does not have any mats, but I really tr truly brush her almost every single day. But this, these are basically little razors. So if you have a mat, you have to make sure that you're not slicing the mat off, out. You're actually slicing through the mat and separating it. So if she had a mat, I would separate down to the skin and I would just work gently through it like this all the way through the mat. And then you can follow it up by going with your slicker brush and just gently brushing it from the tips to the root and then the roots to the tip. 
Now you could probably watch 50 different tutorials and you're probably gonna see 50 different ways to do this. This is what works for me. Gwendolyn is seven months old and she really hasn't had any major mats at all. Another nice brush to have in your arsenal, especially if your dog has super long coat, is a pin brush. It has little balls that protect them from damaging their skin and scratching their skin. And I like to use this on her top knot. We are really working on getting Gwen's top knot brushed out or grown out really good. <laughs> is you a good girl, honey? You are a good girl. Okay, well, I'm gonna do a real quick close up of the line brushing and combing, so zoomed in really close so that you can see exactly what I'm doing, and then we're gonna move on to the sanitary. Close up of the line combing. See how I'm all the way to the root, all the way to the roots, all the way down to the skin. Then I just take a little bit more hair, get all the way down to the skin. A little bit more hair, all the way to the skin. A little more hair, and you just continue on all the way down the leg. It's grown out really good. <laughs> Is you a good girl, honey? You are a good girl. Okay, well, I'm gonna do a real quick close up of the line brushing and combing, so zoomed in really close so that you can see exactly what I'm doing, and then we're gonna move on to the sanitary. You're doing the same thing with the brush and with the comb. You're starting at the roots. I'm gonna try to do this with this hand so that you can see a little bit better. And you're starting at the roots and you're combing through. Why, honey, you can't lay down? and you're combing through, and you're combing through. You've got your coarse side of the comb, or you've got the very close side. And then you're just taking small amounts of coat as you work through. That's basically it. And now we're gonna move on to the sanitary. Okay, now I'm going to do a really quick demo on how to do the sanitary. I'm doing the sanitary with this 10 blade, I actually prefer to do it with a 7, but if you're not an experienced groomer, you're going to want to use a 10. I use KM10 wall clippers, and then I've got a 10 blade Oster blade on there. Basically, what I want to tell you is don't try to scoop in really hard on the butt hole, because you can nick that area. So just kind of gently skim over the top of it, girl. Especially because all of you are newbies, you don't want to take a chance of cutting your dog's butthole. So you can just skim it. And then you can just, she doesn't like this part, skim, girl. And then you can just kind of skim down. I'm just showing a simple way. This is not, Gwendolyn is not a show dog. I am gonna eventually use her for competition grooming. But this is so that you guys can just kind of upkeep your dogs. Now, when you get down to the this area, you want to come in from the side. And then come in from the side. And then just gently skim over the top. Come in from the side. Come in from the side. This usually will be a little hair that's sticking down there. But you don't want to stick your clipper right in there because you'll end up grabbing the skin and the fold on there and you'll cut it. So that's basically it. No, your dog's first, if you have a helper, that's always great. They can hold up underneath and hold their butt because their first instant instinct is gonna be to want to sit. There you go, girl. Okay, thank you for watching my video and I hope this was helpful.